Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. Today's video is going to be how to make a wall decor with a matching console table. I'm starting off with a foam board, and it has to be a hard foam board for this particular project. I'm also going to be covering the foam board with mirror reflective paper, and I have a link for this down in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The next thing I'll do is take a small sized hula hoop that I got from the Dollar Tree to make a circle with it on the board. After that, I'll start drawing the pattern that I want. This particular decor was actually a request since 2017 and I haven't been able to get around to make it but I just gathered courage to do a lot of drawing so that's why I decided to just do it this time around because she will be at home and I'm sure she's gonna have time to make this. This might seem a little bit complicated but it's just a bunch of swirl lines that meets up with one another and then you're gonna clean off the other lines that are touching some of them as you go along. It still sounds complicated, but then when you watch how I'm drawing the lines and how they meet and how I clean off the excess that meets up with another new line, you would see that I just kept going on with the same format till I got to the end. I'll be using a sharp exacto knife to take off the pieces that I don't want. And I have to emphasize that it has to be a sharp exacto knife or else the work is not going to look as neat. As I finished this, I realized that some of the pattern in the middle was kind of wide. So I think I'm going to draw another one that's not going to be as wide in the middle. size of the shape that's in the middle is a little bit better. So now I'm going to be taking off the parts that I don't need. And remember guys, you're going to find it much more easier to use a sharp exacto knife. Now I'm going to be removing what I just made out in the shape of a circle. I want you guys to see this clearer, so I'm going to put a dark background. Much better. Now all I'm going to be doing now is tracing out some of the hidden lines with mirror mosaic tiles. This design is pretty the way it is, but it's going to look much better if I have lighting at the back. I'm using string lights that uses a remote to make it easy for me to turn the lights on and off. Because of the size of the battery pack, I cut out 
some square blocks that's going to compensate for that when it's mounted on the wall. Now I'm going to be using tape to hold down the string lights to the back of the board. Now because I have another pattern that doesn't look too bad, it's just wider. I decided to use it for a table. And this table is going to be made with canvases. I've had these for a while now and I got them when they were on sale. This is how simple the table is going to be. I covered the front of the canvas with silver contact paper. For my design, the back is not going to be touched, but to make it look neat, I measured and covered a poster board with marble contact paper and that's what I'm going to be using to cover the inside. This is what the canvas now looks like. And this is what the inside looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and put them together to make the table. For more balance, I'll be holding the legs at the back together with, with another canvas that is the same size with the one that's at the top and has been covered with silver contact paper. I have a lot of these mirrors at home, so I'm going to put one on top. Now this does not give a full coverage, so I'm going to be using mirror sheets, cutting them down to size, to fill up the open spaces. The design where I made my error is going to be cut to size and then attached in the middle. I'll be attaching the board to the canvas with screws. And I'm doing this because when I'm done with this stage, I'm going to make the board stronger with Mod Podge. I'll be covering up all of the rough edges with mirror mosaic tiles. Now I'm going to be using Gloss Mod Podge to cover the board that's in front. I applied a thick layer of Mod Podge over the board and then put a standing fan over it to make it dry faster. The strokes of the brush should be straight so that when it's dry, it will look like it was part of the design. Now after 30 minutes, when it was dry, I applied another one and I did this five times. Another alternative to making the board hard is to use epoxy. This is a more expensive route, but it's going to give you a glass top finish. Now this is just a droplet from another project. And with the scissors, you can pierce through a cardboard so easy, but not through the epoxy. Whenever it dries, it becomes really, really hard. And yes, with a glass top finish. This is how the wall decor and the table look like together. I was going to make just the wall decor, but because of the error that I made earlier, I decided to just turn the one that had a wider space in the middle to decorate a table. 
and I think it worked out pretty good. Please continue to stay positive and pray that things go back to normal as soon as possible because it is really getting uncomfortable. But let's keep the faith and believe that this will be over soon. And please be safe out there for yourself and for your families. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.